Hello, I'm Jamie Fox from Union University. And I'm Tabitha from Florida Tech. We're here at Amalthea, where our goal is to compare the nonlinear dimensionality reduction methods of diffusion maps and vector diffusion maps using a distance metric in order to determine whether the alignment of local tangent planes enhances the capability and accuracy of dimensionality reduction. In essence, dimensionality reduction takes a large number of variables, in this case pixels, and reduces them down to a lower number of dimensions, which explains the underlying relationship between them. Diffusion maps utilizes the eigen decomposition of the probability matrix, which is based on the distance equation called a kernel. The eigenvalues and vectors are used to create a diffusion distance or similarity measure based on the low dimensional embedding. Let's back up. In order to make the probability matrix, we need a heat kernel. These are monotonically decreasing functions like Gaussian. Using the heat method allows us to maintain the relationship between points during dimensionality reduction. The Markov matrix represents the likelihood of two points being related. In our case, we create them by normalizing the rows of the heat kernel. Here you see a random walk moving in accordance to the Markov matrix. Diffusion distance is found from the eigen decomposition of a Markov matrix. The distance is small if there's a large number of closely related neighbors. The second algorithm we looked at was vector diffusion maps. Vector diffusion maps utilize the eigen decomposition of a similarity matrix in order to perform dimensionality reduction. This similarity matrix is formed from orthogonal transformations scaled by their respective weights. These scalar weights are formed from the entries of a heat kernel matrix, just as in diffusion maps. The orthogonal transformations, on the other hand, are rigid transformations, like rotations, that can be used to align data from nearby tangent spaces. Just as with the diffusion distance, the vector diffusion distance will be small between two points if there is a large number of closely related neighbors. However, this distance also depends on the agreement between transformations. In order to compare these two algorithms, we tested the classification of their distance metrics according to the true geodesic distance. As you can see below, Diffusion Maps was much better at classifying the data correctly in comparison to vector diffusion maps, especially with the hemisphere data. We also tested these two algorithms for a data set of rotated image errors. As you can see on the picture on the left, diffusion maps embed the data clearly by the angle of rotation, while vector diffusion maps embed this data rather chaotically. In conclusion, we see that although vector diffusion maps utilize more information of the original data, this does not necessarily correspond to an increase in accuracy or efficiency in dimensionality reduction. Thanks for watching. For more information about our project or the Amalthea REU program, go to amalthea-reu.org.